KFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. A uh, tiny bit of the allergies today. We hit 101 today, first time. Uh, we hit 102 days in a row, but it took all the way to June to do it, which is very unusual. Let's take a look at what we're going to have on our menu today, and it's going to be Bill Meridian coming in here in about 10 minutes to go over some of the markets that he's been talking to us about. Now, I've posted the chart here hourly chart of the Dow Jones because this is the one we focused on in our video over the weekend and also the fact that it uh, was supposed to go to the 382 retracement which came in at 38915 that's where we said to sell it and risk 50 points, which was $250. As you can see, folks, this has made well over um, $2,800 uh, so far today. We're now below the 61% retracement. If we get below here, folks, you're talking about something uh, pretty nasty. This is a really big, steep move to the downside. The NASDAQ went just a tiny bit above the 61% retracement, as did the S&P 500, and the Russell backed off by just a little bit. But anyway, the market is acting extremely weak, giving up so much of it, uh, what we had uh, that after that big move onto the upside, which was certainly short covering, as you can see from what's happened uh, today. The other market that looks really interesting, of course, here is the U.S. dollar. We, rec we recognize the fact that it was ready to break down, and that caused a problem for the people that were short gold and silver, because that rallied up quite a bit. But that trade that we have on in the um, British pound is still, uh, it's out just a few hundred dollars, but it still hasn't came anywhere near our stop, and it's still acting okay, so we're hoping that goes A. We have a couple others that we need to talk about when we get back, but that'll be a real short session because we want to have Bill on. He's got some great scientific stuff from his studies that he uses, and uh, he does a super job at looking at what uh, we have going on here. Uh, in the market. So let's pay attention to that. It's going to be really interesting. Now, if the market strengthens today and we make a new high in the S&P, the Dow Jones or the NASDAQ, that would be extremely bullish. And we could be looking at higher prices for the remainder of the month, most probably, if it can do that. Now, that's a long way. So we'll see. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648.